Do you want to know which are the best Shopify YouTubers to follow and which ones are the scammers? Well, in this, in this video, you will find out. What is up guys? My name is Ivy Zhu and hold on a sec. I want to show you the results that I got from four days of running Facebook ads for the first time in my life. So these are the results. Focus. Yeah. So in four days, I've made $257. And in this video, I'm going to cover uh, the best sources to learn from in regards to Shopify dropshipping. Like what are the, what are the best Shopify YouTubers? Uh, what are the best Facebook groups and stuff like that. For me to better explain this, uh, let's jump right into the laptop. Okay, so let's talk about the best sources to learn Shopify dropshipping from and how you can actually like really, really reduce your learning curve and just speed up your progress uh, so you succeed as fast as possible. So uh, let's talk about free sources to learn from. Um, so the first one is YouTube. Uh, what I like about YouTube, um, it has really good quality. Like it can have uh, good quality content if you choose a right YouTuber. Uh, but the downsides are that the info is kind of scattered. It's not like step by step. Uh, so for newbies, it can be confusing. Um, if you do not choose your, uh, if you do not choose your Shopify YouTuber carefully, um, they can have low quality info. Like they, they can just like talk about, uh, like their content isn't very helpful and it doesn't actually work or it's, it's very vague and it's not specific enough. Okay. So let's talk about recommended YouTube channels. Uh, so the first one is Ari Sharson. Uh, what I like about his videos is that he's very transparent and he he, get, he gives really specific and useful tips. Uh, I, I learned Facebook ads from him. So the next one is Jordan Welch. Uh, he has really good videos about Facebook ads. Uh, I From him, I, I learned about like targeting broad and like not being scared of competition. Uh, another one is Richard Louis. Uh, he has really no bullshit content. He just tells you the truth. Uh, he's not trying to sell you a dream. And I learned a lot from him and I highly recommend his content as well. Like Ari Sherson, Jordan Welch and Richard Louis are the ones that I watch the most. Uh, there are also other ones, but uh, their content is kind of vague or I don't really vibe with. So these three are the top three most recommended from me. Uh, the other YouTube channels that I also watch are uh, e-commerce empire builders. So uh, Peter Pru of e-commerce empire, empire builders, uh, he has like very, I, I kind of think like he talks about the topics that aren't really talked about. So he talks about uh, click funnels, also about Zipify one click upsells. And if you want to really take your Shopify dropshipping store into the next level, you gotta create funnels. So I really highly recommend this channel. Uh, the next one is Nate Andres. Uh, he talks about POD, uh, which I don't do, but he also has a lot of good videos about Facebook ads. Uh, but bear in mind, uh, if you're doing dropshipping, uh, some of the Facebook ad principles uh, might not completely apply to you, like in some rare cases. So. Uh, just bear that in mind, but otherwise, like his content is also very good. Um, the other, the other Shopify or, or the other YouTubers uh, in the business niche or in the online business niche that I follow are uh, Iman Gaji and uh, Alex Becker. So Iman, uh, he's I think like 18 or 19 years old, and he's I don't know, he's built like over 50k uh, prof per month profit uh, business. So that's very motivating for me. And I just really enjoy his content as well. Uh, the next one is Alex Becker. So uh, the reason why, why I follow him for like motivation is because I started following, following him like way back. I think it was like six or seven years ago. Uh, he first started like a C, uh, SEO, like a blog or website uh, about dating. Uh, then he started doing SEO and stuff like that, like webinars and SEO, like SourceWay, stuff like that. And now he's like doing the, uh, I think it's like hero, hero market or something. 
like the, the email marketing tool. Uh, so it's really like, I really like, like watching that progression from the start to where he is at right now, which is, I don't know, like, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know like what revenue he's making, but it's, it's, it's quite motivating. Yeah. Um, and also, uh, I follow a lot of like the seven to 19 year old Shopify YouTubers. Um, I don't really care if they are real or not. Uh, I choose to, uh, I choose to believe that they're real, uh, just for the reason, because it helps me to motivate, motivate myself. I'm thinking, okay, so if like a 18 year old guy or even like younger guy can make this happen, uh, I can make it happen as well. So, uh, that's the reason why I follow those. So which Shopify YouTubers are scammers? Sorry guys, this video was a clickbait. I'm not gonna go into that because I don't really know which ones are scammers. I don't really have any evidence, I don't know, and I don't really even care. Uh, I just don't wanna spread unproductive negativity into my channel, so that's why uh, I don't wanna talk about that, and sorry guys. Uh, so free sources to learn from. So the first one, uh, the, another one is Facebook groups. Uh, so it's good for networking. Um, but the drawback is that it can have low quality info uh, because you, sometimes you don't know if the guy really knows his shit. So you can not really know if his advice is legit or if it works or not. Uh, the recommended Facebook groups that I like really uh, like that I, yeah, the recommended Facebook groups uh, that I really enjoy and, and that I really um, like read every day or go into every day are uh, Ecom Empires, um, also E-commerce Elites Mastermind and Cody E-commerce Mastermind. Um, so when doing Shopify dropshipping, you're gonna encounter a lot of like small problems. Like maybe your theme is not gonna work. Maybe like a button is not working. Uh, maybe like AliExpress blocked your card. And like a lot of those small things, like you're not gonna know if you should, how to set up like maybe shipping or how to set up like, like small things in your store or like when doing drop, uh, shop, Shopify drop shipping, like a lot of stuff goes wrong. Uh, so for that, I really recommend searching on Google how to fix certain problems. Um, also use the search bar, uh, search tool uh, in Facebook groups and also search on YouTube as well, like for tutorials. Um, I learned a lot of stuff there. Um, I think I had problems with my, th my theme and I just Googled stuff and I, yeah, I fixed a lot of problems. Uh, the next one is contacting support. Uh, whenever like something is not working or you want to optimize an app or do something, uh, just contact the support and remember to be really polite and they will help you out. Okay. And so these sources like the search and support are really good for learning how to fix like specific small problems. Like those are not good for like learning like complex stuff, but it's good for fixing small things. Okay. So the next one is networking and you can do that through Facebook groups, uh, Instagram, and also events. Um, I haven't done it as I haven't done it that much. So I don't have much input on that. Uh, but yeah, you should definitely utilize that. Okay. So paid sources to learn from. So the first one is courses. Um, so I want to preface, I want to preface this that courses, are not a magic pill like buying one course is not gonna make you rich okay you're gonna get rich by taking action by learning a lot and then taking action on that so don't buy a course thinking that it's gonna make you rich yeah don't do that uh i've bought a ton of courses like because like i've done the mistake like uh like i said like i failed for seven years and i've bought countless courses. I don't know. I've, I bought like 20 or maybe 30. I don't know how many courses I've bought. Um, but like none of them were a magic pill. Um, the good courses, uh, will, will really help you to guide, like to guide you. Um, but like I have never found a, a course that was complete that would fix all my problems and that would tell me how to do everything. 
So bear in mind that when you buy a course, uh, it's not gonna have all the required info and you're still gonna have to use other sources to learn from, uh, like to learn from the missing things from the course. Um, what I like about courses that if you choose a good course, it has really high quality content and it's uh, for beginners, what's really good that the info is not scattered. It's more like a step-by-step -step kind of thing. Uh, because if you if you go on YouTube and you watch like the Shopify YouTubers, um, those videos are like all over the place. Like one week they talk about Facebook ads, another week they talk about store setup and stuff like that. So the courses are really great that it's like a step-by-step -step action, like step-by-step -step content, okay. Um, so the next one is coaching. Um, so, um, I think like coaching is really, really good if you have the money and you want to cut down on the learning curve because you actually learn, uh, what you're doing wrong, uh, what you, sh what you should be doing, what actually works. And also the information is catered to your needs, like to your current needs that you have. Um, but the downside is it can be expensive. So if you have if you are a newbie and you don't have the money, uh, maybe try uh, networking and finding some people that are a little bit like ahead of you and they can give you some tips. And finally, the best source to learn from like above all is to take action and actually execute on what you have learned from courses, from Facebook groups and from from YouTube. Okay. So that's the most essential part. If you don't take action, um, you're not gonna get anywhere. So um, remember to do that because my biggest mistake was that I was consuming so much content and like I thought like I need to know this, I need to know that. Uh, but what you can do is just take action. And as you take action, as you like do those things, uh, you're gonna figure out what you need to learn next and what you need to actually do. So guys, let's talk about what I actually did. So four days ago, uh, I started 20 ad sets. Uh, 19 of those ad sets were uh, VC, uh, like conversion, like purchase conversion ad sets. Uh, some of them were very, very like, very, very broad. Like I had an audience, I think no interest, engaged shoppers, that audience was 100, 80 million people, uh, but I also had small ad sets uh, at like four, 400,000 as well. So I started 19 uh, VC ad sets and I started one PP ad set to support that uh, video ad. Um, yeah, so that's basically all I did. Uh, the product that I chose, um, the product that I chose was pretty competitive. Like. Um, I, I, I've seen an ad that had more than 10 million views on the same product, but I'm very, very confident that I can, at, that I can compete. Uh, I think I have better landing page. I think maybe I have a better video as well. So I just want to compete with the big dogs. Oh, by the way, um, right now I'm really, really busy. I really can't post like seven days a week. Maybe I could post two to three times per week because right now I'm busy with my own store, like I'm trying to scale it really hard. Uh, I'm also doing video ads for a friend of mine. Uh, also, I'm graduating from university. Uh, I'm finally gradu graduating um, and getting my bachelor bachelor's uh, degree. And yeah, like it's been very, very busy this, uh, like this time like to do YouTube, my own store, video ads for a friend of mine and also like graduating from university. So that's the reason uh, I'm, a, I'm gonna try to post at least two videos per week. Anyways guys, uh, so that was, that was it. I really appreciate you guys uh, for watching the whole video. Uh, make sure to share this video if you found it helpful. Uh, you don't like, I don't need, uh, I don't need likes or comments, but it would really help if you would share this video uh, to other people uh, that would benefit from this video, okay? So thank you guys and see you in the next video.